That is the newest dragon that just got added, and it might replace one of the most expensive creatures in Creatures of Scenaria. So I'm gonna show you how to get it yourself, alongside some other things like why it can replace the Karaku. And it all starts here, in the menu where you can get it yourself. So if we click this ticket button over here and we go to Death Support Creatures, we will see the Lucentia, and it is 500 Robux. So if you spend 500 Robux, you will get this Lucentia dragon, and you will support the animator, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Blackberry Jump. She's an amazing animator. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How do I actually get it without spending Robux? Well, it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is join a trading server first. And in here, you will see people trading a Lucentia. I don't know how I found two people trading it, but apparently it's not that rare right now. But if there's no one in your trade room and you want to get it really quick, I'd recommend joining the Discord server of Creatures of Scenario. And in here, you have a trading tab. And here, you can literally see a lot of people trading the dragon that you probably want. Would you like to do this trade? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be able to do the trade right now. Awesome, awesome. So what is your username? Here you go. I said my username. Once you get someone's username, you can actually go to the Roblox tab and once you are here, all you have to do is add this person to a friend and then you'll be able to go into the trade drop and actually get it without Robux. So Chicken, a quick question. Did you uh, support the developer? Did you actually buy the creature for 500 Robux? Or did you buy it for a few shrooms and then trade it up for more and more shrooms for profit? Oh, no, I I used my Robux to buy the creature. And then I used that creature to sell it off for more profit. You're not only supporting the developer, which is already amazing, right? The Robux will be going to the developer for her hard work, which I truly appreciate you doing. You're also making a profit right now. It's a win-win in my part. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, you said you needed mushroom so yes, our deal was 24k for one Lucentia but I'm gonna add another 12k because why not oh. so I also want to give you a Rayquazog for the giveaway of the last video so thank you so much for uh, for joining in I really appreciate it thank, thank you too for the mush now that we finally have it you might be wondering how on earth can this dragon replace a Karaku, the most expensive dragon? It doesn't even have wings, so what exactly is going on here? It can't fly, it can't do anything, it doesn't have breath? Well, let me show you something, my friend. If we use a max growth token under Licentia, you will see something awesome. Suddenly, out of nowhere, it has wings. I don't know how this works, and on top of that, it has the breath. But not any breath, it has the same exact breath that the Karaku has as well. Now let's go over to why this is gonna replace the Karaku. We're gonna do a series of three tests, and whatever creature gets the most points has replaced the other. The first test. So let's see how well it actually does against these. So 255 damage ain't really that bad. It really isn't that bad. Oh, 400 damage. Oh, can we pick up creature? No, we can't. Okay, this, this might not be going good. This is not going great. Okay, we have a lot of really strong creatures here that's not too good the breath seems to do a lot of damage though that was how much damage was that okay something that we do have to keep in mind is that we do a lot of damage but there's a lot of strong creatures here this is not the best cosmic server oh no oh no i'm gonna die i'm definitely gonna die that's not very good oh there we go same exact server with the karaku as well let's see if we can kill anything so we're gonna go for this Muju. Okay, that do that does a lot more damage. Um, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm probably not causing correctly with these creatures. Like that's the only thing that is just horrible. I'm pretty sure you have to like fly and breath spam at a certain point with this creature. So uh, I I'm sorry for causing really poorly, but I will definitely say that the Lucentia is a lot stronger as an adult. One point to the Lucentia. For the second test, we're gonna do a trade battle. So I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of people still buying a Karaku for 100k. This is because it's a beta species. And this is what Chicken had to say about the Lucentia value. This creature usually is worth around 8k right now, I think. Mm -hmm. 8k. 7k to 8k, but slowly dropping value. So I'd definitely say that the Karaku has won a point here, one to one, with one final test. So this is gonna be a normal battle because these are not really face tank creatures. So three, two, one. One, let's see if we can battle here. So, my breath does 90 damage. I don't know about- Oh, I do a lot of damage, don't I? I, I feel like I do a lot of damage to this Karaku. I don't think it's gonna survive a actual battle. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not really it. That's not really it. Okay, that's uh, a bit insane. The amount of damage that this creature does to a Karaku, I didn't expect, to be honest. Karaku, get back here. 
Karaku, Karaku. Okay, we're doing good damage. I don't know why it's floating up in the sky like that, but that's all right. I just don't know how much HP it actually has left. We're doing a lot of damage, which keep doing- Oh, there we go. There we go. So if anything, we have two points. So that means that technically the Lucentia would replace the Karaku, but to be honest, I see it a little bit different. So the difference is that the Karaku is a tier three and the Lucentia is a tier five. So if anything, the Lucentia is just a tier five Karaku and it just looks absolutely awesome. It just performs a lot better in battles itself, but in trading value, Karaku will remain its throne.